Many biological and inorganic organic substances occur in a mixture of different components in a solid in order to separate the desired solid constituent or remove an undesirable solid component from the solid phase the solid is contact with a liquid phase the two phases are in intimate contact and the solute or solutes can diffuse from the solid to the liquid phase resulting in a separation of the components originally in the solid this separation process is called liquid solid leaching or simply leaching the term extraction is also used to describe this separation process although it also refers to liquid liquid extraction in leaching when an undesirable component is removed from a solid with water the process is called washing next for the objective of solid liquid extraction is to allow soluble components to be removed from solids using a solvent for further understanding we can refer to the schematic diagram which is on the left side is before extraction while at the right side is after extraction number one refers to solvent Two for extraction material, three transition component, four depleted solid carrier phase, and finally five referred to solvent with dissolved transition component. Leaching is significant in metal processing industries. The useful metal may occur in mixtures with very large amounts of undesirable constituents, and leaching is used to remove the metals as soluble salts. For application of the process in industry, in the biological and food processing industries, for example, is the leaching of sugar from sugar beets with hot water. While in the pharmaceutical industry, many different pharmaceutical products are obtained by leaching plant roots, leaves and stems. Next, I will demonstrate the sauce extraction of capsaicinol from your papers. First, you need a baking tray, pirate glass container, a cutting board, a sharp knife, and papers. Start by chopping up the paper and separate the seed from the papers, saving the seed. The seed contains more capsaicinol than the paper flush. Chop the paper up and place it on the pirate glass container then put it on the oven to dry at low. Once your paper to dry, you need 95% ethanol, a 100ml graduated cylinder, a mortar and pestle, your dry seed and paper flush, a sauce extractor adapter and cutter ball, a hot plate with water bath, a 250ml round bottom flask, and air condenser. Dry the seed and flush up separately. Wear a dust mask if you have. The increasing surface area will speed up the extraction. Take a cotton ball and stop it down to the bottom of the sauce lip extractor. Add boiling chips and 100 ml of 90% ethanol to the flask. Then, fix the extractor. Add your seed and pepper flush packing down as necessary. Another cotton ball at the top and back down. Note, you must pack the papers down so dress not above the siphon side arm, otherwise, you will not have compound extracted as efficiently. Fit your adapter and condenser adding cap clip as necessary. Rix your heating bath and add the water. Begin heating. Use a heating renter if you have one. This is pipe lung shot over approximately 5 minutes as the ethanol boil. Ethanol vapor travel up lift side arm on the far right to the condenser above where the solvent condenser and drips down into the sample cup. 
once the sample scalp fill with solvent and which is the top of siphon side arm most of the solvent will be siphoned back down into the flask below this process repeat and the fresh clean solvent vapor condensed into the sample cup extraction continues each subsequent extraction continues to use fresh ethanol increasing efficiently but the total process use only 100 ml of ethanol now here is the extract another cycle drain. The extraction continues and eventually you will get much darker color solution. After vacuum distillation and overnight settling, you will obtain a dark red slash brown oil. You can try in pipe off the top layer which contain ethanol and plant matter but the rest of the wheel is already dirty. The easy method is to place the pipette at the bottom of the wheel and remove the oil layer in the empandroff tube is the in original dilute extract and in the wheel is the concentrate. To sample the taste, take 1 drop of the oil and 9 drop of distilled water or 5% sucrose and mix it well. For more details, we can refer to the calculation of single stage extraction unit. So, this is the extraction unit. <coughs> there in this system, there will be an inlet for overflow and slurry and also its outlet. The inlet for overflow level as V2 and its outlet level as V1. With its own composition of X2 for the inlet <coughs> and X1 for the outlet. For slurry, the inlet level as L0 with its composition of Y0. For the slurry outlet, its level as L1 and the composition as Y1. Since the slurry is a got its own composition of inert solid per solute, which is level as N0, and for the outlet level as N1. For solving this matter, we may use the mass balance for this single step extraction, which is the inlet. L node plus V2 equal to L1 plus V1 then equal to the total M. For the composition, we may calculate it with L node Y node plus V2 X2 is equal to L1 Y1 plus V1 X1 for the total M X M. For calculating the dry solute, which is the solute-free solute, we use V equal to N naught for the inlet and L naught plus zero for the overflow since there is no solid equal to N one L one for the outlet plus zero and the total is equal to M. M. For the example, you may refer to the book of Jean Copley's within the page at 1 1 for the single stage leaching of flex soybean. It's time to extract the oil. In the traditional system, the pulp is layered between hemp mats. Each quantity of pulp is followed by another mat, and so on until the alternate layers look like a stack of giant pancakes. The stack is placed in a hydraulic press which literally squeezes the oils from the pulp. It's collected below and has the traditional cloudy golden color associated with good quality olive oil. The modern method is far less aggressive but just as effective. Instead of crushing the pulp, it's spun in a centrifuge like this one. As it's spun around, the oil passes out through a fine mesh, leaving the pulp behind. The oil can then be siphoned off and stored, while the remaining pulp is collected elsewhere. 
It's not wasted though, it's recycled and can be used as fertilizer or animal feed. It may surprise you to know that once it's been pressed, olive oil can be tasted like wine. The experience is obviously very different, but this is one way the experts can assess the purity and flavor of their product. Pure unfiltered oil is considered the most valuable. If the residues are filtered out in a centrifuge like this one, what emerges is considered a slightly inferior grade of oil. In this figure, a typical sugar beet diffuser or extractor is shown. The cover is removable so that sugar beet slices called corseted can be dumped into the bag. Heat water at 344 Kelvin to 350 Kelvin flows into the bag to leach out the sugar. The leached sugar solution flows out the bottom onto the next tank in, in series. For moving bed leaching, we have two devices which is Bowman Extractor and Hildebrand Extractor. For the Bowman Extractor, dry flakes or solids are added at the upper right side to a perforated basket or bucket. As the buckets on the right side descend, they are leached by a dilute solution of oil in solvent called half micellar. This liquid percolates downwards through the moving bucket and is collected at the bottom as a strong solution as full micella. The bucket moving upward on the left are leached countercurrently by fresh solvent sprayed on the top bucket. The wet flakes are dumped as shown and removed continuously. For the Hildebrand extractor, it consists of three screw conveyors arranged in a U-shape. The solids are charged at the top right, conveyed downward, across the bottom, and then up the other leg. The solvent flows counter-currently. In the agitated solid leaching, the fresh solvent enters the first stage thickener as it should. The clear, settled liquid leaves and flows from stage to stage. The fit solid enter the last stage where they are contacted with solvent from the previous stage and then enter the settler. The slowly rotating rake moves the solids to the bottom discharge. The solids together with some liquids are pumped as a slurry to the next tank. In the biological and food processing industries, many products are separated from their original natural structures by liquid solid leaching. Usually, pharmaceutical products are obtained by leaching plant roots, leaves, and stems. As for the conclusion, Extraction is a term used for an operation in which a constituent of a liquid is transferred to another liquid, which is solvent. The term solid liquid extraction is restricted to those situations in which a solid phase is present and includes those operations frequently referred to as leaching, desiviation, and washing. Extraction always involves two steps. First, Contact of the solvent with the solid to be treated so as to transfer the soluble constituent which is solute to the solvent and second, separation or washing of the solution from the residual solid. These two steps may be conducted in separate equipment or in the same piece of equipment. 